Do you know, to test the world's most powerful nuclear weapon, the Tsar Bomb, a Soviet plane flew 400 kilometers from the mainland to a remote northern island? When the plane reached the island, the bomb was dropped from a height of 4,000 meters. However, the explosion was so powerful that it could destroy the plane itself, so a parachute was attached to the bomb to slow it down and give the crew time to escape. When the Tsar bomb exploded, everything within a radius of 35 kilometers was completely wiped off the face of the Earth. Buildings, trees, even the ground itself. Everything disappeared. Even at a distance of 200 kilometers, the blast wave knocked out windows. A huge fireball rose into the sky, visible from a distance of 1,000 kilometers. The explosion was so powerful that even in Norway, 1,000 kilometers away, the blast wave knocked out windows and shook houses. The Tsar bomb was tested in 1961, and its destructive power frightened even Soviet scientists. The bomb was originally designed for 100 megatons, but its power was reduced to 50 megatons. For comparison, the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki had capacities of about 15 and 21 kilotons, respectively. This means the Tsar bomb was almost 3,800 times more powerful than the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. If it had exploded at full power, it could have led to radioactive contamination of the entire Europe.